How's it going YouTube? This is Vinny Newcomb and I'm coming at you with my very first gameplay slash commentary video on my channel. I'm very excited to be doing this so um, let's go. As you see here this is some gameplay from Black Ops 2 and I'm playing a game of Capture the Flag on slums. This is actually one of my favorite maps especially to play Capture the Flag on. Um, there's a lot of different um, aspects of the map that really work very well and can be manipulated very easily depending on what side you spawn on um, in Capture the Flag as a game. Uh, in this gameplay I am playing with a fellow Team Element member Twisted Warfare and I'm also playing with a player that um, subbed in for another play of ours in the last 360 Icon Saturday tournament Cranium Rex. So shout out to both of you. Um, you both did an amazing job. I did quite well as well in this um, in this gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah. So here in this round, I am spawning on the good side, and I call it the good side because it is much easier to manipulate the spawns of the enemy players on the other side of the map. Um, you might be wondering how exactly that can be done a lot of players do know the trick and it's not really much of a trick it's just locations that you can be located at um, in order to cut off spawns and pick people off as soon as they are spawned um, there are two crucial points on the enemy side of the map that can be manipulated and taken advantage of in order to um, complete a spawn trap and the first one is that cop car right in front of me as you can see as my dead bodies laying on the ground I did overextend at that time and that was just a my bad but that cop car right there is one location and this yellow dumpster that I'm situated on right now is another um, it's very easy to cut people off from going into blue watching yellow dumpster area from that yellow dumpster um, and then the cop car you could just watch the entire back street on their side and that's one of the main spawn points for the enemies um, if you don't overextend uh, because overextending will cause them to spawn further out in the map um, pretty much making your spawn trap invalid um, here there's not much spawn trapping really happening to be honest with you guys we we could have probably done better with the spawn trap but it's alright because we're doing fairly well um, also as you can tell we're going 2-0 right now um, we got two caps and the other team has zero caps um, and this is fairly usual once a team spawns on the good side because once a team spawns on the good side uh, that's pretty much a guarantee for at least one pull at least one pull and if you're a very good team a team that works very well together you can get up to three to five pulls depending if you have that spawn trap set perfectly and it's not broken um, <coughs> excuse me I'm fighting a little cold right now so if I cough a little bit yeah I just wanted to describe what just happened right there a little bit as well because I thought that was um, a crucial read right there um, being spawned on this side you can pretty much expect that if the enemies get a flag pull, they're going to be pulling garage. And um, that could be pretty much expected because um, when um, my team is spawned on the good side, it's crucial to, like, um, to just push blue, to push blue side. And um, of course, when you're pushing one side, the enemies are going to be pushing another side just to stay away from you guys and try to get a cleaner pull. Um, and what I did there, I looked through the first room towards the flag, and I didn't see anyone coming when someone pulled that flag, so I knew exactly where they were going to go. Um, because about 90% of the time, they're going to pull garage. So that's something that you really need to keep in mind when you're playing slums, capture the flag. Um, <coughs> also, there are a few crucial spots that you want to be able to maneuver around, and one of them is the area that I just ran through that um, I call Graveyard. Um, that small little boxed area in the middle of my spawn side, 
is very crucial because if you're running an AR in the beginning of the game, you could uh, pick off people cross map no problem. And that that right there is an amazing house storm, triple kill house storm, headshot clean up the friggin' team, killed all four. I got a quad feed off of that team. Um, this is also something else that you gotta watch out for. You gotta go for those returns, even if you die. There are deaths that are worth it. If you can return the flag, definitely go for it. Um, but as I was saying, what was I saying? Yeah, graveyard. Graveyard is a crucial point, and it's a point that you really have to watch if you're spawning on the bad side, especially if you're gonna try pulling or pushing through the middle right at the beginning of the match. Um, it's it's definitely something that I don't recommend, but if you try it, um, watch out for that. Right here, I'm setting up this sentry gun at that location, which I would call Cafe. And I set it up there because I know that I'm on the bad side, and I know that the enemy team knows what they're doing. Because sometimes they're just teams that are completely stupid, and they have no idea what they're doing. But this team, I could tell they had an idea of what to do on slums and capture the flag so I set up that sentry gun to block that spawn trap because if someone sets up on a cop car they could be taking out tons of players on my team <coughs> that kill was awesome that was some jack-in-the-box shit I just had to say that oh man I I fell in love with that kill um, once I went back into theater and I watched it I was like oh shit I can't believe I got that but anyways yeah that's probably my favorite moment in the game um, over here, I was just a little bit too impatient. I should have waited back. I knew that there was someone there. I didn't see him there, so I should have known that he pushed back. And I knew that they had a pull. And one player on their team had the flag. Um, and I knew that they would be pushing blue because that's the optimal side to be pushing on once you're on good side, like I said before. Um, but I overextended. I got very impatient, ended up dying. But I did make a call out leading my team member twisted warfare to clean it up and get that return but here i did another overextend i seem to overextend very very frequently and i know that's a problem of mine um and it actually led to the enemy team getting a flag capture it could have been it could have been a flawless match um but because of a silly mistake like overextending i costed the team a cap um and I'm sorry for that, guys, but what can you do? Here, I was just really pissed off. You're going to see what happens next. Um, I don't even know why I keep on turning there. I know my sentry gun is there. I know it's got my back, and I keep on turning. It really um, distracted me, and I ended up getting shot in the direction that I was supposed to be watching. Um, but it's all right. And here, this was just, um, this was just not reading the mini-map. Um, that's what caused my death there. Um, I didn't realize that the person shooting at me was a team member, and I'd never actually glimpsed back at, holy shit, that death pissed me off. I was shooting at the guy in the front, I killed a guy in the back, the guy in the front kills me, pissed. Anyways, as I was saying, look at your minimap, especially after a very crucial kill. Just take the time to reload your gun, look at your minimap, take in the situation and understand what to do next. Um, it's very important to be able to concentrate very well and to um, be able to anticipate things and understand situations that are happening at the moment in order to optimize um, your gameplay and how you play with your team. There you go, got a flag cap, very happy with that. <clears throat> and then here is another very awesome moment of the game. I got a triple kill right here. Real nice cleanup. Very happy about that. Um, he, right there is another mistake that I made. Um, sensor grenades. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Sensor grenades, when they're thrown and they're in your vicinity, <coughs> they can also show your motion um, and your movements. So what I should have done is shot or destroyed that sensor grenade instead of just um, instead of just doing what I did. Here I cleaned it up and got a flag cap. Thank you very much, team. I got you. Um, this is another thing here. 
um, that sentry gun placement. That sentry gun placement is not usually optimal, but it was because of a read that I was doing on the team. I noticed that when the team pushed about about 70% of the time they were pushing from yellow dumpsters which is this area right here and they were going down mid stairs so I aimed that sentry gun right at mid stairs just to have that extra protection at the base and um yeah it's working very well <laughs> anyways here um, this was a a stupid mistake that I made I, I was aiming at a guy that was pushing mid stairs into my base trying to get that cap or the flag sorry get the pull um, not the cap he has to go all the way to the other side to get the cap um, and I tried to use my hellstorm on him and it didn't work out that was pretty much it that is the match as you see my score there I went 43 and 15 one cap four returns thank you very much rate comment subscribe and I hope to see you guys soon peace